In this Madden video, we're we'll going to be taking a look at one of my favorite little corner routes out of the Trips Tight In formation in Madden 22. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe, and it just allows you to stay up to date on the latest tips and strategies that I release every single day here on YouTube. Now, the play we're going to be focusing on in this video is actually the PA slot corner. This can be found in the uh, New England Patriots offensive playbook, the Trips Tight End formation. Before we go any further, I do want to let you know that if you have not become a member of my Patreon yet, I would really encourage you to do that because that is where you're going to be able to get access to all of my in-depth offensive and defensive ebooks. I've got 18 of them over in the Patreon. The cool part is by joining for just $10 a month, you get access to all the ebooks, all the new ebooks while your membership is active, and any updates uh, during the time that your subscription is active. So we update the Patreon pretty much. Uh, we, we update the Patreon every week with new stuff. So you're always getting uh, new updates, new content in there, uh, in addition to really well-established offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to get access to all that, it really will help you become a better Madden player. There's a link in the description below. So PA slack corner. Let's dive into this. This is, um, we're actually going to focus on the tight end corner route. One of the things that I think is really interesting is most of the trips tight end offense, if you think about it, revolves around the number three receiver. The number three receiver on a crosser, the number three receiver on a corner, the number three receiver on a deep crosser, the number three receiver on a sl slot streak. Like, it just revolves around him. Well, what I want to talk about in this uh, breakdown is how we can actually craft a really solid uh, attack to the right side without utilizing this player right here, Chris Godwin. And the way that I actually like to do this, um, interestingly enough, is we're going to do this through dragging Chris Godwin. We're going to put the uh, outside receiver, Scotty Miller. Um, you can run this motion here. This motion is actually super, super good. But I'm going to bring him back because we're actually going to do a different motion that I think you'll like even better. We're actually going to motion the running back out on a streak. So you see how we're going to move him out here. Now, this is a really good route combo for cover four in particular. Um, one of my favorite route combos for cover four. And then on the, the back side here, uh, what you can do, you can do a variety of different things. Uh, what I like to do most, though, is I like to take the outside slot, put him on an out, or I'm sorry, a flat route, and then the inside, or um, the outside receiver, we're going to put him on a deep in route, so a 10-yard uh, or a smart routed in route. So you see, this is how the play looks. Now, your first read is going to be to your running back, then you're going to look to your corner route, then you're going to look to your drag, and then you're going to work your backside concept. So here I'm looking at the streak. Okay, that's taken away. But then if I keep my eyes downfield, I'll notice that this corner route is really, really good. Now, the cool part about the corner route is that they, a lot of people, especially when they defend trips tight end, they love to run this right here, where their user is going to be kind of, but um, kind of hanging with the number three receiver and then they're going to uh, play cover four in, in essence because they typically uh, that cover four especially if they baseline and press it it can jump the crosser however when you go to this route combination right here you're going to have plenty of time and you're going to have great spacing to be able to get the ball to the tight end over the top of the coverage so it's a very very good route for uh, the situation of potentially a cover four coverage now, cover three coverage, let's say they go to cover three, um, and I'm actually going to go to a different coverage out of the nickel three through five wide. You've probably seen this before, but this is the double Mabel concept. So I've got a cloud and I've got a, a hard flat. And what you're going to notice within this is they're going to have to drop their zones to 30 yard depth. And so because of that, if they're just a standard zone drop, you're going to throw this all day long. And you're actually going to get yourself in a position, especially if you run the route from the short side of the field, so your trips are to the short side of the field, there are situations that will come up where you'll actually be able to beat um, a 30-yard cloud. And the reason why is because, again, there's more space for that tight end route to run. I love to smart route the route. I think that's a real simple, easy, uh, easy way to do this. And then this right here, see how we can open up a lot of space over the middle of the field. In fact, if we were to streak the tight end in this example here, um, you're going to notice notice that the safety is the guy over the running back, right? So what you can see here is if my running back has a step, I can throw it to him. Otherwise, I'll just take my corner route, as you can see, and it's getting five yards over. So it's about a 35 to 40 yard uh, corner route on that side of the field. Now, the rest of the piece of this play, and I'm going to show it to you against cover two now, uh, we're going to start talking about some of the other routes, but I do want to show that the beauty of this is that this 
corner and streak concept here on the right will pretty much force them to have to have zone drops. Here you're going to see cover two. Cover two honestly probably does the best um, just because that fade will uh, kind of pull that cloud flat almost into a, a reasonable area uh, of which that it can make a play on the ball. But what you'll also notice within this here is that even though the cloud flat will get pulled back, he will eventually come underneath. And you'll see here that my corner route will still get open. And so it causes them to have to play uh, with 30 yard zone drops uh, at their depth. When they start to have to do that, what that means is a 30 yard zone drop. And last thing I'm gonna show you here is match, then we'll go over, go over some things you can do against zone drops. But if you think about it, a 30 yard zone drop, it has to be a cloud flat, which means the underneath coverage has to now be a curl flat zone, which is gonna open up some other stuff here in just a second. If you look at match here, you will see the match does decent. Um, that's primarily a route running deal because Gronkowski's route running is not very good. Um, it doesn't quite get as open as it would if you're playing Mutt and you've got a guy there that can actually get a separation in that coverage. However, this is not all is lost against match. <clears throat> what you'll see with match here is oftentimes this backside dig is going to be a great check down for you. The backside dig is really the the, the beast of a check down pattern for what we're doing with the concept and uh, how we're going to run it. So I wanted to do now is um, show you one last thing here. This is a kind of a man coverage. With man coverage, these corner routes this year are actually better than you might originally think, especially from the tight end. What you want to do with this is if you low bout, if you low pass it, it'll be a back shoulder catch, and you see how you can fit that in against the man coverage. So what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to go into a 30-yard cloud type of situation where they're really dropping their zones deep down the middle of the field. The problem is that's going to open up all of your underneath patterns. For example, if you take a look at this backside, like I said before, the purple zone is going to be the underneath zone. And purple zones, especially out of cover three, are going to be very vulnerable to this little route right here, this flat. This flat will almost always beat a purple zone, as you can see. It's very consistent. And what this does for your offense is it gives you a read. So if you see a ton of bail over the top here on the right, now you're free to come back over here and you can easily take your check down right there over the middle of the field. Now what you're probably gonna get and try to Im imitate this as best as I possibly can, is you're probably gonna get something that kind of feels like a cover four. We've got a hard flat. We're gonna imagine that this guy's a 30 yard cloud. We're gonna deep uh, half this guy. And then at best case scenario, there's going to be two people over the middle of the field that can defend you. The problem for the defense is what should happen in terms of how this all should come together is your deep dig should be wide open on the backside. So you look here and you see, oh, there's no grass over there. I can't throw that. I'm going to come backside and I'm now going to work my deep dig route over the middle of the field one of the better routes in the game. So that's how you can use this play to beat every coverage. Um, I really do think that there's a lot of value in this motion out to the running back. I think most people are kind of sleeping on how good this really is. This in particular setup, as far as how does it beat pressure, is actually really good against pressure, um, primarily against zone pressure, because you can hit your tight end real quick right here up the seam, and it's a real easy read. So what that's going to do is it's going to force their user to have to kind of hedge and have to kind of protect against the tight end streak. Well, that's going to create a whole other slew of problems for them because now on the back side of this concept, before the pressure is going to be able to get there, we've got the drag and the dig to work backside. So you see here, I can come back here and I can throw my in route real quick if the users are the right. So based, based off where their user is, that's where you're going to work the concept either to the left or to the right based on where the user goes and based off of if they're doing zone drops or not. So really, really fun little route combo here out of trips tight end. One of the more underrated ones, in my opinion. And um, it's a real smooth route combo. I think you're going to find a lot of success with this offense. And um, the cool part is they're not going to know if you're blocking your tight end or not. So it's going to be kind of a 50 50 if they're going to blitz you or not. And if they don't blitz you probably one of the better concepts in Madden right now. So Anyways, with that being said, thanks for watching the video. If you want to get the full ebook, join the Patreon. I've got 18 offensive and defensive guides in there, including the trips tied in that we just went over in this video, as well as um, the cool part of the membership, remember, is that you get all the updates and any new ebooks for just $10 a month. So if you're watching the video and you want to sign up for the Patreon membership, um, we're getting ready to do some really, really cool updates over the course of the next coming days. 
There's a link in the description. Go on down there and click that, and you can go check out the membership.